are you married? With how tiny you are, you really should be eating more. Did they put you in charge? Hello everyone, welcome back to Poise with Purpose Co. and welcome to a new episode in the Etiquette series. Typically with my Etiquette series, I like to have my Etiquette book with me. It's in the basement somewhere, so I will not be utilizing that today. This one is basically some things I've come up with since experiencing some things in the workplace or just in public. So I hope that this is helpful to you. So some of the topics I'm going to be discussing are dealing with inappropriate comments, uncomfortable situations, how to combat people's comments, and basically kill them with kindness and, and utilizing respect in our everyday lives in order to kind of put people nicely in their place. So on a day-to-day -day basis, we experience all kinds of inappropriate comments, whether that comes from people in public, strangers, family members, friends, people that are your colleagues, even your managers. It's possible to experience all kinds of uncomfortable situations and inappropriate comments may be made. So how do we combat them? Some people just don't have manners in their life. They just are, they have no filter. And you know, sometimes we even walk around with no filter and it can be a real problem because you just don't know what people are dealing with in their everyday lives. So here are some tips. When somebody approaches you and is constantly coming at you with inappropriate comments, I highly encourage you to keep a neutral face. Keep a neutral tone and a neutral face. I've learned from working in public spaces and working with the public in customer service that Smiling is a great way to be friendly and welcome people in, but it's also a trap for people that are making inappropriate comments, thinking that it is okay to continue the conversation, even though it's making you uncomfortable. Maybe dial down on that smile and wear a really neutral expression. Still keeping eye contact and being respectful, but giving an expression that is, I am uncomfortable or I'm not okay with this or not trying to egg it on. And it's not your fault. Sometimes you just smile and some people just take that as an invitation to continue whatever they're saying. That's not your fault. Another tip is just keeping neutral body language. Keep yourself balanced and calm. Sometimes these situations become heightened where maybe the opposite sex is pestering you or harassing you and you know sometimes you clam up and get really like uncomfortable and afraid and you don't know if you can ask for help especially if you're at a work environment but I just encourage you to just stay relaxed stay poised and handle it with grace be assertive don't be so passive and loose with somebody coming at you with inappropriate comments. If somebody comes at you and says, wow, you have the ugliest smile I've ever seen, tell them, you know what, I'm sorry you feel that way and your comment was very inappropriate. If you're in a work environment, if someone asks you an inappropriate question, more than likely you should say, hi, is there something I can help you with that is in relation to my, my work position or my role? If not, I will have to ask you to leave. You have every right to say that. Another thing is you want to identify these behaviors. If it's someone who you know or you you can identify as someone that comes into your workplace often and they constantly are like this and they behave this way, write those things down and notify somebody. But even if it's someone that you don't know, identify if this is a trigger for you, identify if their behavior seems friendly or overly friendly and be assertive again with that, with identifying whether or not this is something that you're able to deal with on your own. Also asking for help. Ask for help. Sometimes you're in a public space and there might be a stranger around that's pestering you. I've been there in the grocery store or just out shopping, minding my business and someone comes up to me just kind of harassing me. You can handle it on your own but sometimes you're a little bit afraid and don't know what to do or say so it is okay to gesture to someone that you need help. If you're in a grocery store, go find a manager or a worker there and let them know that you are in an uncomfortable situation. They should be able to help you with that. I have some real life examples actually of things people have said to me that have made me feel uncomfortable that I thought were very inappropriate. So one is, you look too young to be working here. Did they put you in charge? Yes. I've gotten that all the time because I look like I'm still in high school. I'm not. I actually got this the other day like, oh, did you graduate from this high school or are you in? Are you a sophomore in high school? And it's like, no, I'm not. And sometimes people mean well with that, like they really don't have any ill, Ill will with that, but it can be very uncomfortable. 
especially for someone like myself that gets it all the time. What I do when I combat that is I say, thank you so much. No, I'm so grateful to have a job here and I believe that the skills I have that are necessary for this job are why I got this job. It has nothing to do with age, you know? You just kind of play off of what they said and turn it into something positive. Here's another example. Are you married? What's your relationship status? Do you have any children? I actually had this happen to me recently and it's a very uncomfortable thing to say, especially in the work environment. So what I had to do was call for help. I had to ask for my supervisor to come and help me. Another example, my last example, with how tiny you are, you really should be eating more. These kind of comments can come from family, from friends, and it's really hard to deal with these because sometimes people really don't know what they're saying. They're really trying to be helpful, and sometimes people are just criticizing you, which of course is not a part of having manners at all, but you just don't know what people are going through in their everyday lives. You don't know if they have an illness. You don't know if they have an autoimmune disease. You don't know if they just simply can't put weight on, you know? So we also have to be careful with what we're saying to people. And if our tone, what we're saying in discussions and conversations are inappropriate to whoever we're speaking with. Sometimes there's a witness, sometimes it's us saying the inappropriate comment, and sometimes it's us receiving the inappropriate comment. So if you all have any more tips on how to courteously and respectfully, assertively, kindly, <laughs> deal with inappropriate comments and behavior make sure to leave them in the comments below i know this episode was really really short i'm actually on my way to work now so i'm going to keep these things in mind when i am at my workplace but leave them in the comments below i'd love to know your own tips and experiences and we can help each other below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video